What is going on guys? Welcome. I am headed to do some camping. Super excited for that. The weather has turned. It's been nothing but beautiful. It's supposed to be nothing but beautiful for from here on out, hopefully. And so yeah, I'm gonna go do some camping. I'm headed to Kofo Wildlife Refuge. Do some desert camping out there. But before I get there, I actually have to stop at the grocery store because I forgot a few ingredients for my dinner tonight. And then as well, I have to stop and fill up, make sure I got a full tank of gas. And then I'll hit the trail and find a camp spot. So I don't feel like wasting any more time. So let, let's just enjoy this drive and get to a camp. Well, I made it to my camping spot. Got the fire ring right here. All right, I'm gonna figure out camp and get camp set up and then we'll go from there. Cool. So as you can see, I have camp all set up. I saw that there was some dead wood on the ground 
over by my camp so i went ahead and grabbed it but i am going to work on the the firing and situate the wood a little bit i did forget my saw but i mean most of the wood other than this one big piece um should be fine it'll fit like the rest of it i can pretty much break with my uh with my foot my leg my leg power all right it is beautiful outside i'm curious what the temperature is so i want to get these plugged in dang really you guys it says it's 79 degrees outside right now It is, dang, what, what's today's date? End of February, that's all I know. I got the firewood all situated, or I should say the fire ring, fire, campfire all situated. It is, I gave this time to adjust. It's saying it's uh, 71 degrees outside. It's still beautiful. There's a breeze. It's about, I don't know, it's, it's not that bad, but it's perfect. It's supposed to be cloudy all day, which I'm loving because I feel like if the sun was out, I'd just be sweating. So I grabbed one of these papers uh, that I had at the at the entrance, and it's about the bighorn sheep. It's why this is a refuge. It's so cool. So there used to be 800 bighorn sheep in this refuge, and it declined to less than 400 in 2006. And I guess the most recent data is from 2014. They say they have around five to 600 bighorn sheep. So the bighorn sheep that are out here are a true sheep distantly related to the domestic sheep. I highly doubt I'll see any. Um, I actually have seen videos of people coming out here and hoping to see them. They're highly elusive and you'll be blessed to see if you find one or see one.
and that is what it looks like right now. I am actually gonna start prepping all my food, uh, get that ready, um, so I can start cooking and eating. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys yet or not, but I am making chicken curry tonight. So I made chicken curry before on the campfire, I mean, a while ago now, and it was delicious. So I was like, you know what? That's what I'm making tonight. Real quick, I wanted to pause uh, two things. Check it out, the fire is roaring. And as you can see, the sun uh, popped out. So um, it's supposed to be getting like clearer and clearer um, as the day or the night progresses. And then by tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be like clear skies. But because the sun peaked out, I can see some light on the horizon, or I should say on those mountain peaks. Oh, it's freaking beautiful. All right, back to prepping the food and then cooking the food. All right, guys, check it out. I got everything ready. I have the zucchini, peppers, onions, carrots, and broccoli. At the grocery store, I had to get the zucchini, peppers, and carrots. I forgot those at home. And then I obviously have the, the coconut milk, red curry paste, bay leaves, salt, fish sauce, pepper, olive oil, and then I have my chicken. And then I'm using sweet potatoes instead of rice. 
And I, as I was listing all that off, I realized I forgot to dice up the garlic and shred up the ginger. So let's see, I also have uh, chicken. So I have extra chicken. I'm only using a little bit for the, the chicken curry. And I know that's a lot of veggies, but still, who cares? Um, the other chicken I have, uh, you know, I, I took two chicken breasts and I kind of trimmed them up, sliced them down a little bit, and the extra meat I'm using for the chicken curry, the other two, um, I'm just gonna grill. And I'll save those for later. So I guess, let me, I'm gonna take care of the garlic and the ginger right now, and then I'll start cooking.
there you go guys that is my chicken curry it looks delicious I haven't tried it yet I imagine it's gonna be delicious here is the fire So that's the fire right now. I put that big log in there so it could burn up and then I could hopefully break it in the center and then it'll all fit in there. Anyways, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So the sun is up. It's been up for about an hour, but it was cloudy all morning, so. It didn't break until maybe about a half an hour ago. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to come over here. I want to see, I want to see the view. So what I want to do is I'm coming this way. I want to go up there to check out the view. Cause I know there's a view. Oh man. The view is awesome from here. I could never get over the views out here in the west. And some of these cactuses, man, they're freaking tall. This cactus has six arms on it. You can see there's one, two, three, four. There's that big five, one behind that, the center tall one, and then that baby one growing. I'm sure this one's taller than that one, or maybe they're the same height and that's the how tall they get. So I'm back on top of the hill and I'm kind of looking at the two cactuses I went to and they pretty much are even. So that's, oh, it's this cactus right here. And then, doo -doo 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 -doo, it's this cactus. Where, let me, let me get to it, hold on. Ooh, there's my finger, right here. That one. Now I know, you know, I know this one is further, this one's a little bit close. Ooh. I know this one is, you know, further away distance wise than this one. But when I look at them, I can tell they're the same height. All right, I'm gonna start packing up and getting out of here. I just wanna say, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, it's only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time.